coming. Straight back. Perfect. Keep coming straight back now. Perfect. Do this every day. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Alright, so what we're doing here is we're cleaning all of our connections. We've got quite a bit of corrosion on uh, these particular wires are for the charger. And then we're going ahead and cleaning all our connections on our batteries. We'll take the connections off of each one of these batteries uh, before we rewire everything um, to accommodate the Vantage plug at the back. Um, but all this white corrosion on the batteries that's going to affect our connection so we want to go ahead and make sure everything's clean so we're just taking and sanding each connection use a little bit of scotch bright pad and that'll work well got our connections all nice and clean so we'll go ahead and we'll do all of the rest in here so now we got our wires ends all cleaned up we're going to clean our posts uh, this is a uh, battery post cleaner that you can mount on a drill and just simply clean that up. So the first set of wires we always want to put on our batteries is going to be our charger wires. We'll go ahead and reinstall all our charger wires. Make sure you're putting them on the right post. Negative, negative, positive. Okay. Next wire we're going to put on is our jumper wires. So this particular system is a 36 volt. So on this first battery here is where our positive leads are going to end up going. Then we're going to have a negative to positive and then negative to positive again. Okay, so to make our 36, this is the first set of wires we're putting on is for the front trolling motor. That's where this positive wire is going. And this negative wire back here. So what we've done is we've got positive going to negative, positive going to negative. So that's gonna make our 36 volts. The positive wire is gonna go on this battery coming back from the trolling motor plug. The negative wire is going to go to this first battery coming back from the trolling motor plug. Now, we're going to wire up the Vantage. Now the Vantage is a little different system because you need to wire it for both 12, and in this case, since it's a 101 pound thrust Vantage, we're going to wire the main power to it to 36 volt. So coming from the motor itself and the plug at the back, we have three wires. Uh, this orange wire in this case, usually we use yellow. This wire here is going to go be our 12 volt connection for the motor. Um, and basically on the Vantage, what this is running is the lift system. These other two wires are going to be our 36 for the other functions of the motor. So we are going to install a fuse on our 36 wire, hopefully we can get enough wire here. Now with the Vantage, it's very, very important that we get this 12 volt wire run in the correct spot. Because if we don't, what tends to happen is 
it will blow our lift motor or the board inside the Vantage, the main control board. Um, so simply not hooking it up correctly could lead to a fairly expensive repair. So we might have a problem here. <laughs> so when this wire is getting run, there's a there's a nick in this power wire right here. A little oh, that's bit. just the shielding. We'll run some heat shrink over top of here. Too. Okay. That's not gonna hurt nothing. So this is the size wire I'm gonna give you. Good. How much do you want? Okay. We're gonna put the breaker in the second hole. Okay. Well, if we loop this around, we need to go. I don't know, anywhere in here and through, so. Well, at least half of this. Yeah. Okay. So upon inspecting this wire that was run in the boat here from the back um, originally, notice that there's a nick coming out of the shielding. So we're gonna go ahead, grab a piece of heat shrink, and we will heat shrink that so that it's protected inside the boat here. So we're gonna slide the heat shrink down cover up our area here. All right. Okay. Feed this back through. All right. So we're going to install a 60 amp Minn Kota breaker fuse. So this is gonna go to our positive wire coming from the Vantage motor. So on here we can see it says battery. So we're gonna connect our jumper wire. That's gonna go to the battery terminal. And then this other one, the auxiliary post is gonna go to the side that's going to our Vantage. Just gonna take this. Anytime you're working with anything batteries, make sure it is tight. And go down here. All right, so what we got going on here, this is gonna be battery number one, battery number two, battery number three. So our negatives from the front plug and the plug at the back are gonna to go to the negative on battery one. Then we've got a jumper wire going from the positive to the negative of one and two. And then from two to three, we have another jumper going from the positive to the negative. So that's gonna give our 36 volt. The positive wire, the red wire coming from the front plug for the front motor, and the red wire that we've just put in coming from the Vantage, they're both gonna go onto the positive of battery three. So that's our main power for both motors, and that's gonna be the 36 volt. Now, as we talked about earlier, with the Vantage, the lift motor is 12 volt. That's why we have this special third wire coming from the back plug. So this wire to make 12 volt is going to go onto battery one. So battery one is our common battery that has both negatives. So we're gonna put the positive wire coming from the back to battery one. That's going to power our Vantage with the 12 volts it needs for the lift motor. Uh, this is probably the most important wire to get right in the boat. You put it on the wrong wire, you run it, Anywhere else, um, you're going to put potentially 24 or 36 volts, volts to the lift system, which in most cases will end up blowing the board on the motor. Um, again, expensive fix. Put that there. One of the things Jag's doing correctly too is he's connecting all his positives first 
and then at the end you do the last connection is your negatives on battery one. So you get everything done, your jumpers, your chargers, your trolling motor leads for positive, but at the end you put on the negative. Last set of wires we need to connect is our negatives on battery one. Now again, the most important part, make sure all your connections are tight. Finger tightening will not work. Yeah, and no, no longer do we use wing nuts on any trolling motor batteries or any marine batteries. Now it's uh, put the appropriate size nuts on, make sure that they're tight, make sure that all of the wires run nice and neat. It just takes a couple of seconds to lay out your wires so that they're not all over the place, sort of uh, giving you a little bit more control of what you're doing. And if you do have a problem, at least you can trace wires quickly if they're laid out nice and neat. So guys, everybody should own one of these, a cheap little multimeter. And we're gonna check voltage DC. And because this is a 36 volt system, we're gonna to have to pick the 500 volt DC. If we pick 20, we'd be able to check each battery one at a time, but because we wanna check everything that we've done, we'll set it to 500. We're looking for 12 volt, 24 volt, and then we're gonna do 36 volt. And all Jag's gonna do is he's gonna hold a black wire, or the black lead, test lead to battery one negative and he'll touch the test lead to battery one, battery one? Well, that's battery two, so we got 25 volts there, 26 volts, which is about right. And then if he goes to battery three, you're gonna see it's gonna jump to 39 because each, each battery's holding about 13.2 volts. Now go to battery one, Jay, just to show him. So if he goes to battery one, that shows you we're in the 13 volts, we're perfect for that lift mechanism. Try to tuck everything away so it's underneath. Battery lid. Take this out. Okay, another thing we can do to test to be sure we're in the, have the right voltage coming. Um, you find the negative port on your plug and we're gonna test pin number two is 13 volts and pin number three is 39 volts. And all we have to do is when we find the plug that matches this, usually they have corresponding numbers so we know that when we're wiring the Vantage up that we have the wires in the right sequence so they match the voltage for the right application and we should have no problem. So we'll get a Vantage out of the box and we'll show you how we set it up and get it ready to install it on the back end of this machine.